Hello, in this video I am going to show you how you can display card. In uh, last video uh, I already show you how you can store data in cookies but I show you. In last video we store cookies like this A, B, C, D. This is known as quantity, this is known as price. So we consider this is the first record. Now for the second record we bind this pipe sign and then again we store this and this way we can bind again again so now uh, what we have to perform uh, we have to separate this record using pipe sign first of all so this is known as record number two after that getting this we have to separate this record using comma and then we have to separate this all so this is known as product name product description product quantity price etc so i will show you what happened first of all in this view.sph.cs i type one button in this button click event here i am going to write code first of all we need one area so i take this area variable and now we need to take uh, all values in temporary data table so i explain you what is this temporary data table in this data table you can see here i uh, write here three means uh, we are going to take three uh, data table columns first one is id second one is name and country this is the temporary data table which is created by us and this way we can store record inside this data table so <coughs> this is the code i am going to paste here you can see here i create here one data table in this data table i create product name product description these all are our table column name i show you you can see here this all are product name product description product price product qty and product images and this is for <coughs> storing our cookies data inside this data table and then again uh, we are storing this uh, data table value to uh, data list so first of all this we are going to check uh, we have values inside cookies or not if we have value inside cookies then we are uh, our if condition will run and we are here then <coughs> we get this cookies record inside this s variable you can see here I declare here yes variable also then we split record using this pipe sign because in last video I show you we bind record uh, using pipe sign so I differentiate using this then we get uh, consider we have now five records inside these cookies then this loop will move five times when this loop move first time on that time we have to again split the record and we have to split record using this comma sign then we <coughs> get in this record and store in our variable array variable this is uh, i take here one uh, a area array variable i store inside this array variable and then this array variable value i pass in the inside this data table so finally our data table will generate and then i am going to write here one data list so i'm going to take here sp data list id d1 and run at server because we are going to display record inside this data list now here i am going to take item table sorry item template now we need here footer template and we need also here header template Now inside this header template we are going to take table because we, we want to display record inside this table deck and now we are going to complete table deck inside this footer template and now we are going to take here dr and then dd uh, we need 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 dd so I am going to take here 5 dd this is the first one copy paste 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 now here we are going to write like this d1 dot data source is equal to dt 
then d1 dot data bind and yeah if you are a press here dot and you did not get here data source then please check here you need to write here using system dot data and using system dot data dot sql client if you are forgot to write this then you will not get here data source d1 dot data source is equal to dd okay now here we need to pass first imd src because we also want to display image imd src and we are going to pass here right and then we are going to pass here with okay and here we need to pass our data table column name you don't want to write here this column name but we need to pass here this column name because this data table we bind with this data list so our column name is product image so i write here copy this and paste over if you write here abcd then you have to write here abcd now less than percentage yes you will now we need to pass here product name i take this name with same as this name so we are not getting any types of problem product desc product price product qty so each and every name is similar to this so we can write here easily product name now i copy this paste product description now product price and now we need product qty so i write here product qty now <coughs> i am going to run this page view card <laughs> I press this button and right now I added already two records so I am going to delete cookies and everything clear now I clear this now I am going to run this and press this button we can see here we did not have any types of record so now we are going to add a record user and our item page name is display underscore item so I'm going to write here display underscore item dot SPS. Now you can see here we get here this record. Click here, and I'm going to press this add to cart button. Now I'm going to run refresh this page and going to press this button. You can see here we get here record from cookies. Now again I'm going to press here and going to click here add to cut and here and view card you can see here we get here two record but we have to put here lots of condition right we have to check in table this type of quantity available or not and yes we have to put here one quantity button because we have to ask quantity from user uh, by default uh, right now we are getting this quantity but this is not right we have to take here one text box and we have to ask this quantity from user in next video uh, in few videos i am going to show you everything how you can do all this and you can see uh, right now this page is outside of template so in next video i am going to show you how you can get this view cut page inside this template thank you so much for watching my video please check all videos so you can uh, easily understand how you can create shopping cart website in sp.net which is and if you want this code then please send me email i will send you this all code in your mail thank you so much for watching my video and yes if you like my video then please like it and share it maximum so every people can use this video and take advantage of these videos thank you so much